Monday afternoon broadcast alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for joining us. The crowd here in anticipation of their home team Spurs in an interconference bet here at the AT&T Center in San Antonio. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Wayne Wade and LeBron James at the two and three. Haslam and Bosch are up front. And it's Chalmers in at the point. And for San Antonio. Tony Parker at the one and Danny Green at the two. Splitter is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Duncan in at the five roaming the paint. You know, it's easy to take him for granted because we're so used to seeing him make those kinds of plays. Parker kicks to Green. Splitter passes to Parker. Here's Green. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. The Heat have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And Haslam kicks to LeBron. Chalmers. From outside, off the mark. Parker outside. Over Wade. And again, it's Tony Parker. At the end of one, a closely contested game so Four. Two. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. Guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? And the difference to this point has been defense. Uh, this club has really gotten after it, and that's what's gotten them this lead. Well, there's nothing that's gone up that hasn't been contested so far. So with Duncan sitting on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. Parker and Mano Ginobili, their backcourt. Steven Jackson is out there with Boris Diaw, and it's Byron in at the five spot. A nice shot by Anderson. Now here's Parker. Question is, do they go two for one here? Can they get a good shot in time? That's the question. Feeds it to Bonnie. There's one for three. No good. And here are the Heat now. Anderson. And he lays it straight in. Anderson's got four this quarter. There was no question about it. He was going to finish that one off. Now here's Parker. Defense right on him. Can't get it to go. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Now presented by Sprint. And coming your... Visitors travel on foot and by boat along the gorgeous Riverwalk here in San Antonio, Texas. Welcome back, everyone. On the floor for Miami, Haslam and Bosch are up front. Mainway and LeBron James, the best perimeter tandem in the game. And it's Chalmers in at the one. And that one's good. Parker. You know, if he's got the ball in his hands and the basket in his sight, he's going straight to the right. It's stolen by Duncan. I'd like to see a two-for-one situation. Oh! Are you kidding me? That was a power punch right there. Oh, great. Went for the two-hand throw down there. Needed safety and power. That's, a, that's how you do it. Yep. No, nothing fancy, but he finished with force. Wade drives oh! it, and he throws it down with one hand. It wasn't bad defense, but he got overpowered. It's not enough strength to stop him. You know, sometimes you just try to avoid the foul, Clark, and not get in the way. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no question. You guys are right. I mean, he seemed to think better of it and then backed off a little bit at the end. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Ginobili comes in for Daniel Green. And Gary Neal subbed in for Tony Parker. I'm not sure which was better, the fast break or the steal that got it started. I think it was the defense, Steve, quite honestly. I mean, the whole play isn't even possible if he doesn't make the steal. Manu Ginobili on the way. Gets it to go. Ginobili's got his first points in this one. Well, for him, that finger roll is almost second nature. That's a tough shot for most players. That's as high percentage as it gets for him. I mean, the defense really has to be mindful of not And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Heat lead by one. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up, and we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game segment. Doris? Kevin, yeah, 
been for the Heat, it's been an uncontainable game from their backup big man. Sometimes a six man can make all the difference. And with the great start he's had in this one, you have to think they'll keep leaning on him down the stretch. Thanks, Doris. And you love to see that kind of effort from your starters. And here, we've seen that same sort of lift, guys, from the bench. Yeah, and I thought he was really a catalyst for them, Kevin. He got them going right away when he got in. Instant envy is what he gave them, Steve, and you're exactly right. I thought he was their spark plug. The more performances like this that he continues to have, then obviously his minutes are going to increase as well. So with Ginobili sitting on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. Green and Leonard out on the perimeter. Duncan out there with Boris Diaw, and it's Parker in at the point guard position. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. From deep LeBron. Connects from downtown. They're looking good here, adding to this lead. Yeah, you know, time winding down here, the score and the clock clearly in their favor. That's very uncharacteristic for him to miss that shot with such little defensive pressure. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in back. Here's Parker. No good. And so it's Miami winning this one. They...